Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am gonna be doing a clothing haul for you guys. I will be showing you guys here and talking about some of the different pieces that I have picked out. I have a couple sweaters, some pants, some jeans, a couple pairs of shoes, and I think a jacket. So pretty excited to show you guys what I have recently purchased. Before we get into it, hello, if you are new here, my name is Emily or M-E-G, whatever you wanna call me. I do both beauty and fashion related content on my channel. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's just go ahead and get into it. So first I'm going to start with a pair of shoes I've actually already worn. These are the Gazelle Adidas and this is in like a cotton candy pink color. I don't know the exact color but I actually have a pair of these in black and they're starting to get really worn because I've had them for over a year now. Almost two years actually. So they're starting to get worn. I bought those like when they first released that shoe and now I got these recently because they were on super sale. They were like $25 so of course I bought them because I really like those ones. They have a really cool tongue. It almost looks like it's 3D imprinted, but it's embossed. So that's pretty unique. And then I just think the whole shoe design is kind of unique for Adidas. I really like that they are faux suede. I think it's really, really pretty. I love Adidas shoes. I will probably get married in Adidas sneakers. Um, I'm not even lying. I love Adidas so much. They're my favorite shoe brand and I buy their shoes all the time. Sometimes I'll see them at Marshalls and I'll end up buying them there because there's a pretty good chance I would buy them anyways. I'm very excited to have these. I love the gold right here here where it says gazelles. Love those. By the way guys, if you are at all curious how I did my makeup look today, I'll link the video up here and down below. I just tried out a bunch of new products I recently purchased that are also new releases and I've been loving the Rare Beauty ones. I tried those out today and I think they look especially gorgeous. So definitely check that video out if you have not already. For the jeans, I got two pairs of ink jeans. Ink jeans are my favorite. They fit me better than any other jean brand, but I got these ones. These are boot leg jeans. So I prefer bootleg and straight cut jeans and like boyfriend jeans. Those are my preferences, but most of the time they sell skinny and I'll wear skinny jeans. I just prefer more of a looser leg because I'm very curvy and I have more of an hourglass figure. So for me, it's much more figure flattering to have more of a like a straight cut or a bootleg jean. They have this elastic in them and they are high waisted by the way. I love high waisted jeans. They are my favorite. So these are high-waisted. They have this extra elastic here since they are high-waisted. They have quite a few buttons. As you can see, there's the buttonholes. So I think they're, what, five? Ink, I think, is an exclusive Macy's brand, if I'm correct. Their jeans always fit me super well. So anytime I see them on sale, I buy them. Very excited about these. They're gonna be kind of 70s looking, I think, on me, which that is totally my aesthetic, 60s and 70s. Here are the other pair of ink jeans I got. So these are straight leg jeans and these are mid-rise. I do prefer a high-rise jean, but mid-rise I will do too. I won't wear low-rise jeans under any circumstance. So you can see this doesn't have the elastic since it's a mid-rise, you don't need as much stretch. And then they're straight-legged, so you can see it's just straighter and I'll probably cuff these when I wear them. That's usually what I do with straight leg jeans unless they're ankle jeans, but I don't think they are. Very excited about these. I love these jeans. Okay, next I have a pair of pants. So I haven't decided if I'm actually gonna keep these yet or not. I bought some stuff from Kohl's yesterday and I already tried that stuff on. I'm taking at least one item back. Here are these pants. So these are satin pants. I think I'm gonna make a video with the difference between silk and satin, but I really like these pants. So like I said, these are satin pants. So the one thing you do have to be careful with with satin is it's a really loose weave structure. So when you put on like satin pants or satin satin top, it's more likely going to snag because basically how satin is, I think it skips over four yarns because you have like your warp and your weft yarn, and I think it skips over four, I'm pretty sure. So it's pretty easy to snag. So that's the only thing with these that I'd have to be careful. They do fit, like I've tried them on, but I have to wear them more of a mid-rise instead of a high-rise because they're way too tight in my thighs, but I've been losing weight. I've lost 12 pounds, I think, and I'm looking to lose a little bit more. So if I lose like another five pounds, I think that this should be good. I think I should be fine as long as I continue on my trajectory since I've already lost 12 pounds. If I lose that other five, these should fit perfectly. And even if I lose more weight, I think that'll just make them a little bit oversized and high-waisted, which I personally like the look of that. They are very cute. And I love that they've got like these little cargo pockets right here. 
think that's super cool. And I like how it's just a straight leg and not a jogger finish. The next thing is also from Kohl's and it's this sweater. And this was also on clearance. I really like this. This is a Jennifer Lopez sweater. I love this knit. I like simple little sweaters like this and it's cropped and I prefer cropped sweaters. I wear crop tops all the time, even during the winter. I like that, it's a v-neck. I think it's very cute. It was not a lot of money, so probably gonna keep this. Oh, also, side note, if you guys don't have one of them, oh, what are they called? They sell them at Joann's. It's like a snag nabbit or something. It's something like that. You should get one because they're great for sweaters. If you get like a little hole in your sweater or something, you can take this little snag nab it and you can pull it back through. So if you have a problem with your sweater snagging, I highly suggest you get it. It's like five bucks, I think, at Joann's. I think it's called a snag nab it. It's like a really weird name and I think that's it. So this is the other sweater I got. This is from Mod Cloth. I love Mod Cloth. Mod Cloth is like essentially how I design. It's very much my aesthetic. I should just apply for a job with them, honestly. But I really, really like their stuff. It's very kind of like vintagey but also modern at the same time and it's pretty colorful I love this I actually have a sweater very similar to this that Tom got me from the Gap saw it when we were out shopping the one time and then he ended up buying it for me because I was like this is too expensive but he bought it for me and I love that sweater and this is kind of similar the difference is this one is a little bit thinner in material that one's very thick it's really good for winter this one's a little bit thinner so I think it's really nice for fall and I actually went a size down in this because I wanted it to be kind of tight so I could tuck it into my jeans. I don't like wearing bodysuits unless I have to. And I love the colors. I love mustard. Mustard is one of my favorite colors. I love the red and the blue and the purple in here. I think it's so pretty. The next item I got is from Target. And this is one of their jackets. It's from their Universal Fred brand. Uh, most of Target's brands are exclusive to them. They design a lot in-house. Kind of like Kohl's. Kohl's has like the JLo label, but JLo is an in-house designed brand and for Kohl's. Target's kind of in the same way. Here is the jacket. So this is a water resistant jacket, not waterproof, but water resistant, which is why I got it because I don't currently have one that still fits me. Here is the jacket. I love olive green. I like that this has kind of like an army and military feel. And it's a nice just cargo jacket. It comes in a little bit at the waist here. It's got really nice big pockets, which I really like. There is a hood that zips up in here so you can unbutton this and unzip it. It's nicely lined. It's got a little tie here. Really nice. I think it was like $40 at Target, which isn't bad for a cargo jacket at all. So happy about that. And finally, we have my favorite item I think I bought. These are from Mod Cloth and these boots are freaking awesome. These are in, I think like it's called Oxblood is the name and they are so cool. They're faux leather. They have the little like elastic here, which I really like. And then it's got the chunky heel right here, which I'm not much of a heel wearer anymore. I used to wear them all the time, not so much anymore. I probably wouldn't go any higher than this heel. This is like my max. I do really, really like them. I did go high half a size up. Normally I'm a nine and a half. I went 10 in these because I have extremely high arches, especially my left arch. I did try these on. My right foot was perfectly fine. My left foot right here bunched up a little bit. So I'm hoping that if I wear these around the house enough, I'll be able to break them in and it'll be comfortable. But I love these shoes. These are so cool. They're so kind of like vintage yet modern looking. I really, really like them. These I think I got on sale for like $60, which isn't bad. I pay a lot for shoes, like a lot. It's funny because when it comes to makeup, if you guys watch my channel, you know I buy discount makeup all the time. I'm always going to TJ Maxx and Marshalls to get that discount. But when it comes to my clothing, most of the time I don't buy clothing from thrift stores or TJ Maxx and Marshalls or anything like that. One, when it comes to thrift stores, I have like, I have a weird thing with buying things that are used. Like I won't buy used makeup either. Even if it's only been used once, I don't know why it freaks me out so much, but it does. So I don't really thrift. I'll look for sales, but I'm not as like, I need to get it for a discount as I am with makeup and skincare and stuff. When it comes to clothing, I am like, first of all, super picky on clothing. I cannot do styling services. I tried, I, I really did. Can't do them. They're not for me. I'm just too picky. I just need to pick my own freaking clothes or I make them. I've made a couple items for myself. I will definitely pay a lot more for clothing. And I think part of it just has to do with knowing what I know about like fast fashion. I really, really love these shoes though. I think they're so cool. They're so 
unique. I guess they're not like super unique, but they're unique from anything else I currently have. And I just love them and um, I can't wait to wear them all the time once I break them in because I think they're beautiful. Okay guys, so that was all of the clothing I've recently purchased. I am happy with all of my purchases. So let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the items I've purchased and if you purchased from any of these brands. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button if you are into beauty and fashion related content. That is all for today, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a good one. Bye, guys!